Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all. Uh, Pura Vida. Welcome back to the Narc Alert. Hey, it's hump day. Hey, Javi, it's hump day. We haven't been here in a while. Welcome back to a hump day Wednesday stream. Hello, my lovely lurts. How is everybody doing? Zoe made it all the way from Vancouver, all the way from the left coast. Sadie, you're not late. Sadie was at bingo with Amber. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'm just scrolling back to the chat because you guys have been quite active chit-chatting before we got here. Wrong shoes absolutely can pretend to be first. Will tell tastes like mold they were first. But we can pretend it was the wrong shoes. Oh, Polly McKenzie says my YouTube format changed and I hate it. That happened to me. Listen, I don't know what's going on because that happened to me and I friggin' hated it. The comments are all in the wrong place. It's just a nightmare, this new layout. But mine went back to the original layout. So I don't know what they're doing because they rolled it out. They rolled it back and I haven't heard a whole lot of people talking about it. So I don't, fingers crossed it might just go back. It's a nightmare. It's horrible, that new layout. Underneath the video where you want the comments to be, the comments are not there. It's just terrible. Terrible. Your makeup is terrible. Um, what? I got some notes. I got notes. I also have a real mukbang here. Because I, as you know, his supper is 5 o'clock. And it's 4.30. And he's been like... Because clearly he's never actually tasted food before. So today's a big day for him. <laughs> today's a big day. Dog with hat says um, they're in bed with no food in the fridge. And the girl eats as much as she... But her fridge is full of um, beverages. So it's all beverages. I think she called the Price Club and got cases of Gatorade or something. I don't know what's going on there. And yes, dog with a hat. I hope you're okay. Oh, Che Lily says they just found out that Amber Lynn's mom lives a block away from them. Ooh, that is weird. I would want, I, like, I would want to avoid that. Like, honestly, I wouldn't want to run into them. It would make me feel conflicted. <laughs> oh, Instacart shopping is complete. And the best news of all is there's this new thing I found sugar-free mango passion fruit juice. Oh my God. Let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. Beth, your uh, YouTube changed and changed back too? Good. I don't know what they're doing with that layout, but it stinks. It's horrible. Everybody hated it. I was posting screen caps of it in the Discord, and people were like, mm, that's not like mine. Mine doesn't look like that. I'm like, why am I the only one that gets this suck-ass layout? But now mine has gone back. Angelina Dugan is a member for 11 months. Thank you. Treats for Mr. Real. You know, I got him right here. <laughs> I got his mukbang right here. We'll have to do that first, because you know who the priority is here. You know, I think you should change your priorities, you know, within your priorities. Muted? No. I'm not muted. Kaylee loves the blouse. Thank you. It's one of my favorites. It's so springy and the colors are so pretty. I think I got it at Old Navy. I, you know, Old Navy closed in the Eaton Center. And now Uncle Tim and I are lost on Saturdays because that's what we do when we have nothing else to do. We just go wander around Old Navy. It's kind of like what we did on Saturdays. And now they're, it's gone sad. No, I'm kidding. I'm not muted. <laughs> oh, you're silly. <laughs> um, if you missed it, go watch Crusader dropped a little teaser trailer and oh my God, it was so adorable. Crusader actual is so adorable. Him and his wife are like the most adorable little 
perfect couple. I just, they're so sweet and really good human beings, which we love. Real good, genuine, honest, good human beings. So um, the very last scene is the very best where it shows him with milk, putting his helmet back on like he went out for milk for nine months. So adorable. Okay, Ella, what am, what's, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, let me explain that. Ella just pointed out this weird thing in the corner of my screen. Thank you, because I forgot about it. I got this new camera, and I used it last time we streamed, and it was fine. Um, but when I put it on today, it was doing this clicky autofocus thing. And I got batteries for the remote, because, like, it does all kinds of things. It can, like, the contrast, I can adjust. I'll make it really light. Um, and you can zoom in, which I don't want to do because then you'll see all the wrinkles. <laughs> um, but if I take this thing off, look, it does this. That's annoying. So I found that if I click that, it seems to stop. But then this thing sits in the corner. So just deal with it. <laughs> just deal with it. Cameron, thank you for gifting five members. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Five more alerts. I know autofocus is a nightmare and I turned it off on my settings and then it's this new guy, you know, we'll figure it out. But for now, we'll just, you know, you'll just have to deal with that little bullseye in the corner. Um, what else am I going to say? I got all kinds of notes. Uh, we have a couple alerts in the Discord who have discovered that they would like to stream stuff, which is, God, makes me so happy. Um, you know, Merck doesn't like all of the things. So there's certain things that you guys never get to see in Discord because benevolent dictatorship, and I just don't want to watch rom-coms. So we don't watch a lot of rom-coms, and we don't watch a lot of period pieces. Enough respect. It's just really not my thing. But... Uh, a Miss Tomato Jam has got a whole new setup there, and she did a little test, and she can be streaming. So she's very excited to be streaming. Maybe some daytime streams, European uh, time. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. And uh, Ludi, our our, uh, our French-Canadian Ludi, wants to do some streaming. Uh, she likes a couple, there's a couple of period um, miniseries. So that's cool. I love that. So you guys get to see stuff that I'm not going to stream. <laughs> Sorry. I have streamed a couple. I do stream rom-coms. We watch Tusk all the time. It's the love story of the century. There was a lot of interest in rewatching Tusk the other day. And I thought, you guys, we just watched it at Christmas. <laughs> Jan, you watched Tusk last night? <laughs> you didn't love it? It's so good. Mr. Snork really wants to watch Tusk. And uh, Snork is kind of off work right now. So I feel like, you know, it would be a nice thing to do for Snork. Ella, di Jan didn't like it. Apparently Jan is in the No Tusk Club. In the Discord, we have both Tusk and No Tusk emojis. You know, we, we're, we're equal representation. <laughs> Jan watched Tusk on her own. See, that's what happens when you talk about something stupid long enough. People want to see what all the talk is about. <laughs> it's not terrible, Fluffy. It's not. Actually, kidding aside, I don't think it's terrible. <laughs> I really don't. I think that Johnny Depp is the worst part of the movie. Yeah, Johnny Depp is in it, you guys. <laughs> Should we feed the man? What else was I going to say? Couple. Th what, let me finish my notes, then we'll feed Rio, then we'll you know, look at that video. Um, not that it matters to probably really anybody but me, but today would be my dad's birthday. 
Um, which gonna t let's have a little. I'll catch you up a little bit because there's been some big uh, things happening here around here. Today would be my father's 101st birthday. Had he had he lived, he died at 49. So we've been gone a long time. Um, but today I uh, signed a consent form because the hospital has decided, thank God, that they're going to move my mother into a transitional care home while she awaits her long-term care placement. Um, they've also told me that because she's on the crisis list, that I can, uh, if you're waiting for long-term care in Ontario, you can choose five homes and you rate them, which home you want first. Um, but, but because she's on the crisis list, they said I can, I can do up to 10. So I picked eight, um, m mostly location. I don't, you know, like Amber, I don't drive, which I guess makes me really immature. Um, but so I don't want to be too far out of the city. Um, oh, Sarah, it's your dad's birthday too. So, um, now, the other interesting thing is my second choice home, she's apparently almost at the very top of the list for. So it looks like it might not be. I don't even know if I needed to add those extra homes because if she could get in in the second, it, it's a real nice home. It matches all my values. I know that sounds selfish, but she has dementia. She doesn't know anything. So I like that this home is very exclusive. It also has, not that it matters to my mom, but it has an LGBTQ wing for LGBTQ seniors with dementia, which is apparently one of the first ones in North America. So it's like a really good place. They've got outdoor yards with barbecues. They've got bees on the roof that they make their own honey. It's like a cool place, right? She'll be happy there. Now, she's still right now in the hospital, and I don't know when they're going to move her. Now, the sad thing is she's really lost it. Like she's, her cognition is so bad. She doesn't really even understand where she is or if she has a home. She doesn't even ask to go home because I don't think she knows that she has a home. He'll be back. I've got supper. Don't worry. Um, like she keeps telling the nurses that I live in the, fl at the floor above her in the hospital. And then yesterday she asked me where I lived and said she'd never been to my home. Like, so she's... She's really lost it. You know, she still knows who I am. She's always very happy to see me. Hey, no, Rio. He's eating a plant. One second. Rio, no. You are the baddest cat I've ever seen. Hey, I've got your supper over here. You don't have to eat the plant. See, he's never eaten food before. So I won't kill him. I just don't want him to eat things that'll make him sick. Um, you're so bad. You're the baddest cat that's ever walked on the planet. Get up here. Come on. So that's the, uh, so interestingly, on my father's birthday, I signed the consent form to put my mom into transitional care. Don't kill my mother's cat. What a way to put it. I'm going to take uh, Bailey to the vet and see what the vet has to say. I feel like Bailey's getting sicker. Um, she shits all over the floor. Every day I clean up at least five piles of shit on the floor. Um, today I went down there three times. The third time I went down there today, there was a pile of vomit. I don't even know how much food, where, how, where she was storing all that food. So she's not well. And I need to, I couldn't rehome her in the condition she's in. So I want to take her to the vet and see what exactly is wrong with her and what can be done for her. And if, if it's, if it's humane to her, we'll rehome her. And if it's not, then the, I'll go with the vet's learned decision on this because it's way too much for me to deal with. I'll be honest with you. It's not a decision anybody wants to make. It's not that she misses my mom. She probably does miss my mom and she is stressed for being alone, but I'm telling you, this cat shits on the floor for two years. This is not because she misses my mom. This cat... My mother has overfed it to the point that it's probably 25 pounds overweight. The cat had diabetes last year. I used to have to give it two insulin shots a day, every day. I got the weight down. I got her blood sugar fixed. 
And then my mother overfed it to the point that she looks like a friggin' pumpkin now. She's so big. I'm sure she's fully diabetic again. She's 17 years old. There's probably a lot going on with her. So, yeah. It's a very uncomfortable topic for me. And I got to tell you, it bothers me that people keep at me on about it because I'm going to do what's right for the cat. I'm going to do what's right for the cat, given the vet's uh, recommendations. And that's the bottom line, right? Let's be frank. It's not fair to rehome a 17-year-old sick cat that's going to need insulin shots and shits on the floor. Do you think that's fair to do that to somebody? Mm -mm. So either I have to nurse that cat back to health at 17 years old before I rehome it, or figure out, I don't know, we got to figure out what the vet, I'm going to listen to what the boomer sooner. Thank you for the memberships. So, yeah, you know, and I got people all the time going, no, you really have to do, no, I don't really not have to do fucking anything that anybody says here except the vet. And if you think this isn't already a very complicated emotional situation, then you're dumb. Because <laughs> it is. You know, I started the whole channel because my mother's a narcissist. Well, guess what? She's not anymore. She's a dementia person now. So she doesn't even show signs of narcissism anymore. So the animosity is not there. There is a lifetime history of emotional abuse, and that still exists. But right now, compassion is outweighing any of that. So am I happy to have her somewhere off my hands so I can get my life back? 1,000%. Am I happy that she's somewhere safe and cared for? 1 million percent. And it's a really complicated situation. And I talk about it because I know I'm not alone, and a lot of people deal with this, and I don't want anybody to ever feel guilty and every healthcare professional i've dealt with along the way has said do not feel guilty for feeling relief about this so i don't because i do everything i can do backy t thank you so much time for love you guys are a gift love you all backy t is one of our loveliest kind lurts that always communicates such lovely emotions thank you backy it doesn't go unnoticed um I mean, I go visit her every day. I bring her all kinds of stuff. I bought her a new house coat. I brought her a laptop. I bring her lunch every day. I visit her every single day. I don't want to, but I can't leave her there alone in the hospital. So yeah, I'm not going to justify anything. I'm doing everything I can do the best way I can do it. Like Amber says, none of us are perfect. <laughs> so that's the mom update. And I just thought it was there was something poignant about signing that consent form on my father's birthday. So it's a weird day around here, and they let me tell you. Now, another tie-in with that is, what the hell is Merck's schedule right now? Well, I tell you, I wish I knew. <laughs> right now, my life is kind of in an upheaval, and it's sometimes I'm not even doing anything, but I can't do anything. I think I'm a little burnt out. I think I've hit a wall with caregiving and all that stuff. So, And I think that maybe, surprisingly, it's going to take me more than two days. I thought a couple days off, I'll be right as rain. Sophie, thank you for the super chat and all the hearts and love. Very kind. Um, it's going to take me a little longer than two days. So, you know, I'm not going to stop uploading. That's what I love doing this, but it is hard. So I think what I, today I thought maybe this is what I'm going to try right now. We'll see how this works. Every second day plus Saturdays, because I'll I don't like, I would never miss a Saturday. I think I missed one ever. Um, so yeah, I think every second day, plus Saturdays. I think that'll work for me right now, which means Wednesday I'll be off tomorrow. Friday, I think I'll upload some kind of um, compilation. And then Saturday we'll do the live. So I think that's how we're going to roll for now. User th Haley, thank you for gifting a member. That's very kind of you. Um, I think that'll work. And if it doesn't, we'll adjust as we go. And as you know, I try and be highly communicative with you guys. So you always know what's going on. And that's enough about me and my sad life. What does this say? Superstars. We have a challenge going on in Superstars right now where I want you to do a two-minute or under little ad for where you live, basically. You can make it funny. You can hate where you live. You can love where you live. You can sell it to us. You can warn us. Whatever you want. Two-minute video. You don't have to be in it. Or you can. You can use AI voices. How about that? All kinds of options. We want to see it. 
you don't have to dox yourself. And I wanted to mention Rio did a video in there, and I've only watched, I didn't watch the whole thing, but oh my god, I was crying laughing. So good. You're up next. You're up next. Okay. And now it's time for the real mukbang. Now what you've all come here for. Yeah, well, I don't listen to what anybody says anyway. Listen, the shit they say about me, do you really think I listen? Come on. Come on. I got bigger fish to fry. Rio mukbang time. They like the Slurpees, Rio. Thank you, Willow. Macaroni, thank you for the super chat. It's very kind of you. Oh, this stinks. Macaroni says, you're so strong, doing great work, lots of love. Thank you, Macaroni. Macaroni, darnedo. Darnedo. Darnendo. Darnendo. Macaroni, darnendo. Takes me a few times, but I get it. Polly says, random question, but why do cats bite you when they like you? I cat sit often when I'm petting the cats, they nip me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Rio doesn't bite. But I've heard that some cats do that. <laughs> He's a monster. He bites me all the time. I think they're love bites. <laughs> I know. I know. I know I was going to set snork off. He doesn't bite. It's a love grab with his mouth. <laughs> He's love grabbing me with his mouth, right? Of course, that's what it is. Now, when he's holding my arm with both his hands, Jan, oh my gosh, thank you for that super chat. You do, you as always, Merc. Jan, thank you, that's very generous. This is sixty nine ninety nine. Saucy thing. She's so sassy that Jan. She's on the lamb and she's sassy. Oh Denver, feel better. Ugh, you're lucky you can't smell this, Denver. It's not good. It's not good. Can I put this down over here now? So on a sadder note, Amber uploaded today. <laughs> Kaylee says, you have said you were tired of covering, let me put this up here, tired of covering Amber. Do you see yourself moving completely away from her? Because I think I speak for most of us. We will still watch you. Kaylee, thank you. Um, I'm going to put this down. Here's what I see happening. I see my mic falling. No, um, I'm gonna, you know, honestly, I, I would love to just desert her completely. Um, as we know, she's boring. She's been boring for a long time. And that last month, I'm not gonna lie, left a real bad taste in my mouth. I've said before, you lay down with dogs, you get fleas. And I got some fleas last month, you know? So I would love to. But I'm going to be dead honest with you. She still makes me more money than anything else I do. So um, when that balance starts to shift, I'll still cover her. I'm not going to cover her all the time. As you see this last week, we've done all kinds of different things. Um, and soon my second channel is going to be monetized. And when it is, I'll certainly focus more on that over there. So I can see us eventually getting to a point where we don't cover her anymore. And if she does something interesting, we'll cover her. For now, I still she still, you know, makes me money. And that's what it is. I know she likes to talk about people loving her and hating her. I'm completely indifferent. She uh she's my best content. She gets me more clicks than anybody else. So right now I'll still cover her. Um that said, she's still not interesting. <laughs> but we'll get there eventually. I was talking to somebody. I think what's gonna happen is um 
I think we might struggle for a little while. I think we'll probably lose subs and, um, you know, financially, I'm, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a struggle bus time ahead of me. Uh, then I think, you know, things will build again as we transition out of Amber more. Um, and really she's creating it by the non-tent that she's uploading, right? So that's kind of what I think is going to happen. You know, I'm not going to make a big, I'm quitting Amber forever video because that's ridiculous. I'm just going to say we are going to move away from her. If she does anything interesting, we'll cover it. I missed a donation. Okay, thank you so much. Okay says, oh, there you are. <coughs> My favorite channel and community, your gold, Mark. Thank you. Okay, and I missed you. I'm not gold. I missed your super chat. For Thank you. That's very kind of you. The community is gold. Let me tell you. It's amazing. Listen, you guys who've been streaming my channel at night and letting it roll and stuff, you're making a damn difference. I think I'm like 900 hours away now from being monetized. And if I'd get off my lazy ass and create a new content video for that channel, I'd probably get, get it up there. So, uh, you know, now that I'm not doing as much, maybe I'll try and do that. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. And right now, it's kind of like I said before, it's not a bad time for this transition to happen because my life is kind of a mess right now. So, uh, you know, if you have to miss some days, now's a good time to be missing days, right? So that's that. The other channel's name is TNA2, and I think Ella just dropped the link. And it's all just narc alert videos on everybody but Amber. There's one Amber video up there because, you know, she fits the content. And it was a way to get some extra views, <laughs> to be honest, kick up those hours. But I didn't want to get that channel branded as an, as an Amber channel. We want to get it so it's not in the Amberlyn Reed algorithm. Because that's where the problem is with the YouTube-y, YouTube-ness. All right. That's enough rambling. I'm a rambling guy. We watched Steve Martin the other night. Rambling, rambling, rambling. Hey, Alex, long time no see. Good to see you. Thank you, Jan. Jan says, I love TNA too. <coughs> Hi, the bowl. Can I move this dish away for you now? Let me just wipe the cat food off my fingers. Blah. Oh, one little final note about Crusader. We were talking, and he said it's going to be at least three weeks before he has a new video up for you. Um, he's building a new computer, and he's waiting for some parts. Now, I did say to him, you know, if you wanted to make a guest appearance on a live stream, I'm sure the crowd would love to see you. And he said, sure. So we'll see if that happens. Wouldn't that be fun? See the old man again? <laughs> the old man. I think I've got socks older than Crusader. The city video. Ella, thank you. That's what I wanted to talk about, too. There was a request. We were going to do it till the 15th, but let's do it till the end of the month. So let's do it till <coughs> the 30. What's it? January, February, March, April. Uh, let's do it April 30th. Can you chill a little? Hey, Chris, in real life, nice to see you. Thank you for your support. Go subscribe to Chris in real life. They've got a fun channel. I didn't... Um... Also, we played Job Job the other night in Discord, and we haven't played Job Job in a long time. And I got to say, you guys, it was really friggin' funny. And Marigold, you are making me pee my pants. Marigold and I were off on this ridiculous tangent about birds. Y you can't, it doesn't translate, but it was really friggin' funny. And we did a Miss Valentine who wasn't there to tell us all how boring we are. So maybe next time. Okay, let's get to this video now. 
Amberlynn uploaded a video today. We were going to do a retro and it was going to be fun. Oh, it was going to be so much fun. Um, but she uploaded. So we'll look at the new one. And uh, <laughs> this job job was boring. I'll talk to Crusader. We'll see if we can't. Maybe on Saturday if he's around. I don't know what his worky life is like now. So um, I haven't talked to him too much, but we'll, we'll see what he's up to. I don't know where the cat is, so we don't have a real cam today because he's just a going concern. He's a going concern. Chris is covering, uh, Chris in real life is covering glitter and lasers. I know a lot of people are telling me, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get on that bandwagon. There's glitter and lasers and there's another one, right, that I keep hearing that I should cover. You know, I'm just not, I don't know, they don't move me. They don't move me. Hey, can you stop that? Rio? Come here. He does this thing right now where he's digging under the closet door. It drives me crazy. She's got a book. Glitter and lasers is sneaky messy. You know what it is? It's that I'd have to spend some time really digging in. And I just... Don't have the focus right now to really dig into a topic I don't know too much about. Can you hear him banging on that door? Drives me crazy. Rio. 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 Can you just come here, please? He's not going to shut up. His food is not there, Jan. He just wants to go in the closet. He's a closet case. Oh, he won't. He's, this is you guys here. You don't hear him. This is what he does a lot. He'll go for like an hour. And I'm telling you, he's adorable, but it will drive you crazy. Catnip. Jerry. What a great idea. Let's distract him. Where's that nip? Where's the nip, Rio? I need to distract you. You're going to drive us crazy. we got to watch Amber. Let me get the nip. I'll be right back. Come on now. You're not going outside. Forget about it. Oh, that's not cat. Shit, I don't know where... Oh, there it is. All right. We got the cat nip. Catnip spray. Hedgehog. Laney's very late. Laney, we're just going to start the reaction. So you're kind of on time. Here, do you want to play with this instead of the closet door? Do you want to play with this instead of the closet door? Here. All right, let's see. All right, let's see if we've got him occupied for a little bit. Did I tell you I booked a room in, in Lima? Paige doesn't even know. She's been really busy, so I'm just booking shit. <laughs> Not all of it, but just some of it. I get bored. <laughs> I get bored, and that's my escapism is booking that trip. She's not careful. I'm going to buy us a couple of flights soon <laughs> to Iquitos. I mean, it works out because we both buy stuff and go, oh, I owe you for that. Yeah, but I'll get that. Yeah, okay, whatever. It all works out. <laughs> like we're millionaires. You know, I live like a pauper so I can travel. Don't get it wrong. And a lot of people last year donated to my my. Go fund my PayPal, go fund me, whatever the fuck that thing was, um, for my 60th birthday trip to the Amazon that didn't happen. So that pretty much covered my flight. Um, so you know, Caitlin loves travel planning too. God, it's my favorite thing in the world. I started, 
the other night I started planning a trip to Costa Rica for June. Like, I can't afford that. I don't know if I'm really going to do it, but I thought, oh, what if I just snuck away for five days? Self-care and sanity right now. All right, Amber uploaded today, and it's called, I made a huge mistake, a huge mistake in capital letters. Huge. Let's go to Walmart, Olive Garden, and the casino. Jan, you're the same. It's the only thing I care about. I care about real and traveling. That's your nightly routine too, travel. I, I don't know why I'm trapped. Like June, I'm going to the Amazon in August. Do I need to go to Costa Rica in June? Who do I think I am, Rockefeller? Anyway, huge. Hey guys, welcome to the new vlog. So I actually Look, I'm gonna remember to turn it up before you go. Merck, we can't hear her. And I go, yeah, cause I didn't turn her up. Let me just check these volumes as well. Let's check all the volumes are up. All right, we're good. I actually wasn't even going to vlog today, but I also didn't even vlog yesterday. I went out, I hung with my mom, but I also filmed and posted oh. three TikToks, which I'll show you guys. Can I, I got a knock on the door. I think it's my Instacart. Do you want to do a grocery haul? Boring. I'm sorry. Thank you. Have a great day. Here, want to do a grocery haul? Want to do a grocery haul before we watch Amber? Look. Hang on. Where is it? It's not even a grocery haul, really. I just needed cream. <laughs> My mom wanted lasagna for dinner tomorrow. Okay, I got raspberries. Organic raspberries. Uh, we got a, a salad kit. A Southwest salad kit. I got these because I just needed to fill in the order. It's Thai basil spring rolls. They're probably stupidly high in carbs, right? Oh, they're not. 24 grams in four. And I'll have like two, so that's not bad. Lasagna for the old lady for lunch tomorrow. Look at this. Is this, this is the shit. This is what we're waiting for. How many calories? I don't look at calories, Val. How many calories? 220 calories in four pieces. They're pretty good, eh? I'm anxious to try those. And, of course, this is the only reason I ordered Instacart, because I needed coffee cream. So let me put, let me put some of the freezy stuff in the freezer. Okay, see, this is my whole life right now. I'm a disorganized, crazy mess. How many sodiums? I didn't look. Okay, I also had to get a little bit of this juice to try it. Sugar-free. Oh, my God. it's It smells good. It smells good. I can smell the, mang the passion fruit. Let's try. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. 10 out of 10, recommend. So good, you guys. How do you do a taste test and not actually talk about the food? I would say it's not very sweet because it's sugar-free, but it does have a slight aspartame taste. The mango and the passion fruit are really well balanced. It doesn't taste like more mango or more passion fruit, and it doesn't taste artificial. So I'll... Overall, Mitten Minute Maid is good. Oh, okay. 
I'll put her back now. We'll get to this. I'll settle down. I promise. I forgot to do the happy dance. Mmm. 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 Uh. Ten out of ten recommend you guys. Uh. Did I miss a new member? Thank you, Val, for letting me know. Let me scroll up here. Who did I miss? Zoe. I'm sorry I almost missed you. Thank Valentine for pointing it out. I was just so into my juice. Honey dragon fruit. Mm. Passion fruit's the bomb. <laughs> Princess, thank you for joining. Oh my God, so many new members. And we haven't even gotten to the big lass. Okay, here she is throwing. Okay, I love, love this part. We did watch this. I, you know, I, we did a rage stream earlier. It's like Kaza. It slaps. That juice slaps. Minute Mate slaps. And I didn't see any mold on the bottom. I posted three TikToks, which I'll show Look you guys her. right here, but not without the sound because. Okay, this says. Why do you post thirst traps as someone who's 500 pounds? Now, I suspect that what she's doing here now with her face, using her face, is what she thinks is a thirst trap, right? Am I wrong? Is she, does she think this is a thirst trap? Because we got the pouty thing. She's got the pouty pouties going. I see the pouties. I think she thinks she's thirst trapped. Talks, which I'll show you guys right here, but not without the sound because I don't want to get copyrighted. And to the reaction channels who are reacting, I don't want them to get copyrighted. Okay, you know what that tells me? She really wants people to keep reacting to her. She doesn't give a crap about the reaction channels, does she normally? But she wants to make sure we're able to react to this content. This, I'm sorry, Amber, this is, this is serving. I'm sorry, this is serving desperation. It's giving needy. She's fucking desperate. She wants everybody to react to her content so badly that she cut out the audio because she doesn't want, like, seriously, you idiot. If you leave the, you think we don't know to blame. I mean, okay, well, some of us forget, but generally we know to mute the audio. Oh, thank you, Amber, for looking out for us. Really? Two weeks ago, you said, I can't with this woman. Which, by the way, I think is going to become merchandise. I just can't with this woman. I can't. Either, because that would suck for all of us now, wouldn't it? Anyways, I've just been having, like, so much fun on the good old TikTok. I do go through phases where I stop posting on there, and then I start again. Speaking of posting on places, a lot of people are contacting me about opening up my cameo again. I Nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. <laughs> it, it really? Are people, a lot of people are contacting you and saying, please, Amber, I want to pay you 50 bucks so you can pretend that you don't know how to pronounce my name on cameo. Please, please. She's desperate. She needs money. She's Everybody's leaving. Her views are down. Reaction channels aren't reacting to her all the time anymore. Oh, girl, this whole thing is just reeking of broke desperate. I haven't done Cameo. I don't know. I feel like it's been like over a year and I still have it in my description. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening it again because so many people are asking. So it's like, seems like it's a hot thing that people want to. Uh... Why don't you just do a couple for people? You know, I'm not going to say that I'll do it all the time, but I've had a couple of people DM me and ask me to do that sort of thing, and I've done it. Not because I'm not opening a cameo. I not charge anybody money for it. You want to help your audience out, you know? Oh, my God, Lainey. Holy mackerel. Thank you for the super chat, Lainey. For more juice and tasty foods or whatever. <coughs> Look at I'm good, eh? Juice and berries. And they're organic, right? They better be organic from Mexico. Thank you very much, Lainey. Lainey. 
Lainey Bobaney. Uh, have me do, do, which I love doing it, but for some reason it takes so much energy because I want to do the right thing and say the right thing because you guys are paying for me to speak to you. So when I realized I like was starting to go through, you know, you get paid to do this too, right? <laughs> you should actually put some effort into your videos because that's really what, what pays your rent. Listen, I'm eating these on stream. I don't care what you say. It's not making any noise. For like a depression, I just like turned my cameo off and I was like, you know what? I need to take a step back because I don't want to be all like depressed in my cameos. Let's see. Let's have a little look. Let's see if she's reopened it. Oh, what am I doing? She's got a link in her description, right? Oh, all Canadian. I guess it's still seventy. Eighty-two dollars Canadian. Eighty-two dollars Canadian. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Eighty-two dollars Canadian. I assume that's seventy, right? How much is 82 Canadian dollars in US dollars? 82 Canadian dollars is approximately 59 United States dollars and 93 cents. 60 bucks. Oh, that's hideous. You know what's hideous? That exchange rate. <laughs> that's a hideous exchange rate. 60 bucks for a cameo for her to go. Oh, hi, Sue. Sue? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Thank you very much I, for being such a big fan and supporting me over all these years. It really makes me happy to me, 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 and I. I, me, 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 I, me, I. We've seen your work, Amber. We've seen your work, girl. Because it just, it didn't add up for me. And then ever since then, like, I have not started it again. So I'm thinking about it. I hear you guys, and I know it's greatly requested. She looks big here. I did say big. This ankle's not doing her. Look at her face. Amber. <laughs> As I stuff my face, I'll stop. Why does she do this? Why is she filming this? <laughs> Tom says, Merc, she is big. <laughs> like, why are you laughing? This is all so fucking performative for the camera. Like, she's not talking to anybody. This is her performing for the camera. Okay, I'm going to film myself casually, casually eating girl on the go. Why? No, it's great. Nobody's talking. Watch me eat. Oh, look at I'm so quirky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, please. And the duck lips. Pathetic. Okay, you guys, so right now I'm currently... Um... And you know why she did that? You know why she shows that? Because she wants to be able to say, look, I only ate half. I, I showed it on camera. I only ate half of that one dish. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Not the Walmart. I'm actually in the toy aisle. Oh, Tom Turner, I hate those pigtails too. My niece and nephew, because I'm going to go see them today. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to get, but I know she really likes to color because I colored with her last time. So I'm probably going to get her like a new coloring book, maybe markers, probably not markers. I think she likes colored pencils. So I'll do that. Okay. So instead of getting like a standard coloring book, of I course. found these scribble scrubbies. You literally get to use the markers. Because she wants to show up with more and better gifts for the child than anybody else. 
She can't just go and buy a coloring book and some new crayons. She's going to buy this, this 3D thing, and then we'll see. She doesn't stop here. It's just like, remember she used to do that with, was it Dust, Destiny's niece or something? On these cute little animals, and then you can, like, clean it off and redo it. Color and clean adorable little pets. That is perfect. So I'm also going to get her a few coloring books and this really cool twist-up neon bright colored pencil. Hello, hello. Editing Lynn. Did you see that? It was art in progress. Now, was that her coloring? Or I'm confused. I know I almost said dusty. <laughs> Not as an insult. It's just easier to say. It's cute. That's not a child. She colored that, right? And didn't she buy them for the child? There's no way that child colored that. Twist up neon bright colored pencil. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's too okay, neat for a so kid. We have a taste test, folks. I hope that you're buckled up and ready because this is truly something I've been wanting to try for like a minute. We skip this. I say we as if you had anything to do with it at all. <laughs> During the Rage stream in the Discord, I kind of um, skipped over this. Um, so we didn't watch it, but I guess uh, we'll, we'll watch it now. I just remember it's really long. It's really long. Instacart, why do you have to send me 45 messages after I place an order? I placed the order. I paid for the order. I got the order. Just leave me alone now. Stop. I don't have to always tell you how you do. God, they're so needy. And then now, so this girly pop is about to try it. So, so it's freeze dried, like sour gummy worms, and then freeze dried peach rings. I'm so, making a pass. This whole bag, 150 calories. If you don't believe me, Look there, 150 calories. Like what? Okay, so the first one I'm gonna be trying are the peach rings. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna love the texture. All right, I love a peach ring in real life, so I hope this is good. I mean, it shouldn't taste any different because it's literally a peach ring just freeze dry. All right, let's go. Snark, I always rate them. <laughs> I always rate them five out of five, unless I have some problem. And even then, I don't think the problem is, like even if I get a wrong item, I still give them five out of five. But I don't need 52 reminders to do it. I do it right away. Whoa! That is sweet. What the heck? What? It's candy, Amber. 10 out of 10. Okay, now the summer gummy, the summer gummy worms. Sour, not summer. Like, what am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> Me trying to get a thumbnail. Yeah. All right, let's try it. What were you trying to do to that gummy worm? There's your thumbnail, Amber. Was she like deep throating that gummy? That was like gross. What were you trying to do for your thumbnail, Amber? Sour, not summer. Like, what am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> Me trying to get a thumbnail. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Did you see the pose? Two of them. Ew. That was disgusting. Amber, you're so stupid. I'm sorry. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, now the summer gummy. Now I gotta make you watch it again because it was so. Watch the pose. Oh, I okay. gotta slow it down. Watch her little posing like she thinks she's. Oh, poop. I screwed everything up now. No, no. So this girly pop is about to try it. So, so oh, it's free. He's dropping. I love the texture. All right, I love a peach ring and trying are the peach rings. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going to love the texture. All right. I love a peach ring in real I made life. It slow. So I hope this is good. I mean, it shouldn't taste any oh, different. Oh, this wasn't the one that she... a peach ring just freeze dry. All right, let's with, go. All right. I need the pose one. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's the next one. I went back too far. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Watch. Watch. 
me trying to get a thumbnail. All right, let's try it. That was disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, There's something about that just really- sweet, Not as sweet as the peach rings, but still very, 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 very sweet. The texture is heaven. This is true ASMR. No, it's not. See, eating that, I'm like this. You eat way less calories because they're just so strong. I've literally sat here and only had two of these. And if I had like real gummy worms, I would have already had like 10. Your girl recommends. Oh, thank God it's no Hello, hello. Well, I was going to say welcome to the vlog. I'm pretty sure this is continuing on from whatever I have from prior to this. This is but the big confession, you guys. Get ready. Sit down. Get your popcorn. Get your beverages. Because it's time for Amber's confession about her huge mistake. It's huge, you guys. Uh, hello i actually have not put on my lipstick yet so i need to go do that but today i'm spending the day with my mom and my grandma so we are currently at the casino by the way for everybody who's always yapping about like our cats are dead there's a cat there that's wasabi right the gray one no rarity was it rarity do you believe i've been in the amberverse this long and i don't know which cat is which and i'm a cat person <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Rarity, right? And Wasabi is the black one, and she hides all the time, right? Prior to this. So, but hello. Oh, there's a cat sighting. I my lipstick yet, so I need to go do that. But today, I'm spending the day with my mom and my grandma. So we are currently at the casino. I'm excited. I haven't been in a hot God, minute, man. but we all wanted to go today. So we're like, let's do so it. So we're like... My hair is frizzy today. I added none of my little, like, frizzy sprays, so... Don't mind that. I will say the temperature today is perfect. I think it's like in the high 60s. It just feels so good. It's so boring, man. I've been trying to light one of these guys up for the last forever. Okay. I won $29.50. I almost ran the grand. I almost won the grand, but it didn't work out very well. Yeah, you almost won a million too. Right? Is it filming? Hi. Is it? I guess so. Do I need to push it? No, it's I mean, this part I found very strange too won. because I won. felt this felt performative to me too because her mother, who's younger than me, I believe, um, knows what a cell phone is. Probably, I'm gonna make a big leap of assumption that Mama Lynn understands how to work a cell phone, right? Don't most people? know how to film with a cell phone like they know how to take a video with a cell phone and yet this struck me as really weird it was like what does she not understand how to is she the only person on the planet that doesn't know how to film a cell phone video but it didn't work out very well <laughs> is it filming hi is it i think so do i need to push it Oh, it's I think it's fine. Really? Your mom's doing mom how to do won. this? How much was it? 60. 60 doll hairs. Good job. Oh, doll hairs. <laughs> so funny. I just won 64 She's dolls. so quirky, you guys. Did you hear? She said doll hairs instead of dollars. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of you are saying your moms don't know how to do that. All right, maybe she doesn't, but I just feel like she seems to be a fairly young 55. Remember, she's younger than me. I just assumed that maybe she would know how to click on a video on a Selma. Maybe she doesn't. Colors. Well, I actually was not going to tell you this. There we all. go. Confession but time. I have been off track the last couple of days and the reason why i wasn't going to tell you is we just no oh my god you guys did you hear that i'm sh i'm, I'm shooketh yeah vanessa druidus it's true I know we're all shot. She's been off track. You got for a couple of days. Oh my God. That's shocking. 
off track the last couple of days. Wow. And the reason why I wasn't going to tell you is be just because, like, I feel like there's so much judgment. Like, I have been doing really good and still people are judging so hard. I have lost a good chunk of weight, in my opinion. My body feels that way. Like, my brain feels that way. My soul feels that way. Like, I feel like it's been... Does your scale reflect that? You just said you've lost a good chunk of weight, in your opinion. And your body and your soul and I guess your hair feel that they've lost weight. Does your scale indicate that at all? Any interest in showing us the scale? Listen, it's in her soul. L Laura, she feels it with her whole chest. Even her frizzy hair knows that she's lost weight. A really good... <laughs> Sorry, there's like lint, cat hair, and everything else. Yeah, he's Anyways, rolling. I feel like I've lost a really good amount of weight each month so far in 2024 when I said, you know, I'm going to get on track. I'm going to do this thing. I said I wanted to lose 100 pounds this year. And so far, like, I am on the path to doing so, even though I've been doing really good. Yeah, but you couldn't say you could have lost two pounds and say you're on the path to losing 100. Esther, thank you for gifting 10 members. Holy cow, Esther's got a whole alert army. You know, one of my close friends in high school was named Esther. Esther. Her parents were German, and her mother didn't speak English very well, and whenever we were at her house and the phone, and the phone would ring, and it would be for her because, of course, no cell phones when Merck was in high school. And her mother would yell around the big, big house they had. Her mother would yell, Esther, telephone! <laughs> Hey, stuff. But it's just like, still, there's so much judgment, and it's making it like and I, hard for every me. Every time I see your name, I think of that. So now you can think of that too. I want to like vocalize moments like this where I feel vulnerable and I know that I have done not the greatest, and I kind of just want to talk about it and be open about it. But it's like so hard to do because there's backlash for me being human and making mistakes and not being perfect. As someone who has struggled with food for a majority of their life, I'm literally 33, like, it's gonna happen. Like, I'm gonna be making mistakes. I know what triggered that. It was definitely my trip to Trader Joe's because when I go there, I get a lot of like, like processed foods. It was definitely out of like my routine, the things. We had a friend in college whenever anything was, uh... hi, Patricia. <laughs> I didn't know I put you up there, but there you are. You're not too late. Um, We had a friend in college, whenever anything was popular, he would, he would never, uh, there's the geese, he would never, you know, oh no, he was too cool, he didn't like that. And then eventually, he would like it too, right? And then we'd all get on him and go, listen, last month you were all meh, 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 now you're buying that album, or whatever it was, right? So, we, we his name, his name was Gord, and uh, we used to say, uh, <laughs> deny, buy, justify. So that's what I think of when I see Amber doing this, right? She's always going to justify why she was off track. It was Trader Joe's fault, you guys, or it's our fault, or it's the negative comments fault, or it's, you know, it's Merck's fault, or, you know, it's never Amber, but because she's not perfect, you guys. So I have been buying for myself. Can you hear the geese? Like, it wasn't like part of the routine that I've been having. Like I've been eating a lot of the same foods every single day and that's truly helped me so much stay on track. So then when I had all these new foods in my home, especially processed ones and ones that like just make me You bought them. You went to the store and chose them. You put them in your cart. They didn't just appear in your home from Trader Joe's. You could have gone to Trader Joe's and not bought chips. God. You feel a little too good like sometimes foods like give me a high if you guys suffer with a food addiction or you're an emotional eater then you guys understand that and i really want to try to stay away but i thought you don't have a food addiction interestingly enough the retro that i was going to look at was her final diagnosis talking about binge eating which i assume is uh her can tell us how she doesn't have it but now she's got an eating disorder again foods that like give me that feeling and sucks to say trader joe's is not for me or not for me currently it's like i just feel super swollen i just have not been 
doing very good the last couple of days. It's like I went to Olive Garden the other day with my mom. You're not swollen. You gained weight. You, you, you're not 400 pounds of fucking water. You're not. 400 pounds of water, Amber. Jesus Christ. Mom, which is totally really fine because I have been allowing myself to eat at restaurants but during a day where I'm on track I'm able to like fit that into my calories I'm able to do no really see that's the problem I've said it before they're coming to take you away Amber it's the stupidest most illogical thinking you know it's your crisis situation you approach this like you have to lose 30 pounds you have to lose 400 pounds or 350 like okay you can't be laissez faire about this and casual and oh i can still go eat out in a restaurant because i can squeak it into my calories you cannot you eat one meal at a restaurant that's your whole day's worth of calories that means you cannot eat anything when you go home you can't drink anything when you go home you do not have the discipline to do that and any food and restaurant, even if it's within your calories, is going to be exceptionally high in carbs, exceptionally high in salt. You can't eat at restaurants when you're trying to lose 350 pounds. But the Olive Garden day it was an off track day. And I tried. I woke up. I said, you know what? Back to counting my calories. And Olive Garden was my first meal. And I was like, okay, I got this. I got right. this. And then like, I was tracking my food while I was there. I was fine. But then later at night. What did I just so, say? Right. I don't expect myself to be perfect. I definitely don't at all. Never have been. Never will be. But coming on here and admitting yeah, this is really hard because I know what people are going to say. They're going to say that I've given up, which I haven't. They're going to say they've expected this, which, okay, No, fine. I will give you that, Amber. You don't give up. I mean, you do. You give up everything you ever try, but you don't stop trying. She has a certain amount of tenacity not getting her anywhere it's not effective but she always talks about it like it's some grand great character trait that she has i never give up i might fall down but i keep picking myself up and trying why don't you just do a fucking diet properly hmm no you know it's not really judgment it's it's uh, commentary really uh, quite frankly, I don't judge Amber. I don't like, love, nor hate Amber. I don't. She means literally nothing to me. When I'm done reacting to the video, I don't think about her. I really don't. Um, but you're, if you're going to make your life public on internet, like we've told you 125,000 million times, people are going to comment on it. And when you set out on a goal that you fail, for the 570th time, people are going to comment on it. You can, you're can, you never going to fix it, so you're only your supporters watch and comment. Please stop thinking that that's ever going to happen, because it's never going to happen. Ever. I try really hard to film for the people who are like genuinely here to like watch me, but right now in the back of my brain, I have a lot of like the rude woman. oh my god ella Merck, are we reading her new poem today i can copy the text if you don't want to hear her read it please can you drop me the text in discord because i would love to do a new amber poem i don't i don't know if i've got my beret handy i might have to get a new beret because we're coming in on the end of this so yeah that'd be perfect ella thank you so much I didn't even know there was a new poem. That's fantastic. Mean and harassing, just like beating at me in there. And I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Like I want to be more vulnerable with you guys. Yeah, you know what, Amber? I didn't like the way it made me feel when you turned everybody against me by lying and saying I doxed your fucking surgeon. I didn't like the way it made me feel when you sat on camera in front of 100,000 people and laughed at the thought that I might die from a heart attack. But I don't keep making videos whining about it. That's just the way shit rolls on the internet, Amber. Toughen up, old girl. And I want to open up with you guys like I used to. Like, 
so many people reach out to me and they say they miss that side of me. But whenever I do it, it's just, I feel like another wall gets added right in front of the wall that was already up because people are just like too harsh. The good news is though, I did go- No, it's because your skin is too thin, Amber. Your skin is too thin. People are always going to be harsh. People are harsh to me. People are harsh to Zachary Michael. He seems like a perfectly lovely guy. I don't know why people would have some terrible things to say about him. Or me, for that matter. You know what? It matters. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's amazing how little things bother you when you don't pay any attention to them. Thank you, Ella. I saw that. Stupid. She really thinks, does she really ever, th she really carries on about this. Like she thinks that one day she's going to be able to run the internet, like control. It's a control narky thing that I want to do my videos, but nobody's allowed to say bad stuff to me about it. That's not nice. I only want people to leave good comments and support me. Grocery shopping today at my normal grocery store. I got the normal foods that I have been eating and I'm going to start again tomorrow. Back on my same old path here. And my goal was to stay below 2,000 calories. But, like, also another part of me is, like, so mad at myself where I'm, like, I want to stay below 1,700 now. It's just, like, that's, like, a <laughs> – that's getting in, like, a problematic area. It's, like, me wanting to punish myself for having a couple or a few days of not counting calories. I will say there is something weird to this thing that she does because she does it all the time. If someone tells her the diet is 2,000 calories, she says, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to do 1,600. She sets herself up to fail all the fucking time. Like, can't you just do what you're told? If they said 2,000, do 2,000. Do it for six months. And you know what? If you manage that, then drop it. But already trying to go beneath the goal is a setting yourself up for failing. And she, she does it all the time. She's been doing this for years. I don't know what motivates her to do that. Is it is it because she wants to control? Is it more of a control thing? I don't know where it comes from, but there's something weird to it, right? Oh, bye, Jen. Thank you for dropping by and being so lovely and generous. Keep your head down. You don't want to get caught. Not okay. I have even been taught that by multiple weight loss doctors or when I was going to the outpatient like you are not supposed to punish yourself in that way but like my brain is telling me well you've done really bad and you really want to lose these hundred they also tell you you're not supposed to eat bad food and cheat and gain weight but that doesn't seem to have any effect on you but this this part does right your pounds this year and if you can you can do more by lowering your calories to 1700 like it's just like this like thing in my brain and like these are things that like i would just it is weird normally would just jot down in my journal and very much focus in on there and not share this out loud but i feel like i haven't really been that transparent and listen i just want everybody to know that tank girl has now showered and apparently jace is here so all the water things are happening now there's showering there's hydrating there's a lot of water stuff going on right now i just want to debate and uh and um and uh Sorry, where are we? Where'd you go here? And Tank Girl, I want I just thank you for showering. My current 2024 weight loss journey, I've kind of just been like, yeah, I'm on track, you guys. Oh, like, here's the Stanley. Cesar Stanley also showered. Stanley, it is Eid Mubarak, and I I'm, was remiss in mentioning that at the beginning. And how do I miss it? There's a huge sign in the lobby of my building. I live in a very inclusive building. And we, we make sure everybody is included here. And yeah, it's Eid Mubarak today, right? Which is the end of Ramadan, if, I, if I'm correct. So everybody's having feasts tonight, I guess, right? We be feasting in the Muslim community tonight. Excellent. Jess took a shower. Jerry took a shower. Holy mackerel, the lurts are squeaky clean. Caffeinated cat showered. I had a shower earlier. The wrong shoes. We're just shower obsessed here. I don't know. Everybody showered today. 
We used to have a shower thread in the Discord. And this is how many calories I'm we're having. This is how much we're a clean bunch. <laughs> what can we say? Weight I lost, da, 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 but like I kind of want to go like a little bit deeper, dig a little deeper, and people are gonna hate me Damn regardless. Dinner. So <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> like I just need to like just Again, truly don't hate you. Don't hate you. Hate is way too passionate an emotion to have about you. Look at you. You don't en enrage me. We call them rage streams because it's stupid. You're stupid. It's not, you, nobody hates you. Well, some people hate you. We say I hate you, but it's not. You're inconsequential to most of us. Honestly, Amber, if you vanished off the internet tomorrow, for a couple of weeks, people would be talking about it. Then everybody would move on. Same with me. Same with anybody else. That's it. Nobody hate, not maybe hate you. As many people hate, truly hate you as truly love you. If, try my you piss people off. You annoy us. We don't like you. It's not passionate enough to be hated. Very hardest to like take up the trash and focus on the mm -hmm. wonderful people who are watching me. And I love you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. So vulnerability is for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, she's trying hard. Look at she put an extra. <sighs> she put an extra. She made sure she didn't play any copywritten music for us to not get claimed because she just loves the reaction channels and she wants us to never ever go away ever. Ever, ever. I don't know where Rio is. Oh, he's over there. It's okay. The phone isn't hooked up. Yep. Yep, she wants us to keep reacting. She wanted to make sure she didn't put that music in, so we keep reacting to her. Girl is running scared, I tell you. I truly believe she's running scared. She sees the lack of interest, for sure. Now, apparently, Ella tells me there's a new... Come on. There's a new poem. I don't want to... Be... I don't want, I don't, I don't want to. Ludi, this was new. Ella says, I had to hear it read by Amber. You at least get Merc. All right. It's frightening. It's not long though. At least it's not long. It's almost more like a haiku. I'm sorry I don't have my beret. I don't think I have my... Let me just look. No, no beret. I don't know where the heck the beret has gone to. We'll have to do it without the beret. I'm sorry, but it is poem time. It is poem time. I wish I could wear my funky glasses too, but I can't see them. All right, let's just do it. Honey on her collarbone. Tell me why you have honey on your lips. I know you're taking gulps of her while only taking me in sips. <laughs> I don't feel good. I feel dirty now. I feel I have to have a shower now. That's it. MTJ, member for 14 months, MGA, I already told them you weren't here yet, but MTJ learned how to stream in Discord, Trashy Tuesdays. <coughs> Rio didn't like that poem, you guys. He's upset now. <sighs> it's so bad. So bad. 
it's much more mature writing than her previous works. Although I will say that sounds like some uh, unrequited love going on. If somebody's taking somebody else in gulps and only taking her in sips. What's going on? What's going on? Rio, why are you doing that? Can you not do that? There's a good boy. User, thank you. Uh, user, user. It's so stupid. Haley. It's just, it's just, I always read user first. <laughs> Poem breakdown. Uh, Haley says, do you think, thank you for the super chat. Do you think this one's going in, in the poetry book? Oh, right. She's going to publish a book, right? Yeah, breakdown. I don't know. Honey on her collarbone. Well, Ella, it starts out with the word sips. Semicolon. It's sips. Honey on your collarbone. I don't have them. I used to. They're right there, though. Tell me why you have honey on your lips. I know you're taking gulps of her while only taking me in sips. That doesn't even sound like her writing, to be honest with you. We do. I've, I've done an excellent. Do you want to see the water tutorial? I watched it the other day and I, it kind of cracked me up. It's funny. Sorry, I was just Googling that poem to see if it was uh, plagiarized, but nothing came up. Let's watch the uh, water tutorial, and then we'll call it a day. Because the water tutorial, I think it's time uh, that we rewatched it. Jace, thank you for the super chat. Jace says, I'm trying to write. ALR is what I aspire not to be. Well, that's good. Um, is it members content? I think it's members content. Yeah. Now, a long time ago, we had a challenge in superstars to do a tutorial. Um, so I did one. Oh, why would I, why would I take the headphones out? Yes, Bobo, almost done, soon done. So this is this was my sipping tutorial. In case you missed it, it was quite a while ago. Um, I think I was, anyway, I won't make excuses for me. Here's your sipping tutorial. Hola, bonjour, uh, buenas tardes. Uh, Merc here, ponytail Merc here, day off Merc here. Can't come up with a new video idea, Merc here. Anyway, I've been watching your amazing sipping tutorials and quite frankly, blown away at the uh, comprehensive educational content that you guys are producing for absolutely free just to help your peers it's Passport. quite frankly inspiring. But I wanted to Hi, um, step in because I know we did a quick tutorial on the live stream, but it was by no means comprehensive. And I do know it's just a hoodie without the proper sipping knowledge. Um, today I have a couple of beverages. It's just a Sherpa hoodie. It's actually pretty thin. Now, I noticed some of our. Um, some of our instructors have broken it right down for you into weights and measures, which is phenomenal. But I'm going to take a little bit more of a loosey-goosey approach here to it. I'm not weighing anything, which, you know, for a former pastry chef is blasphemous, but I think we need to learn how to go, let go of some of the, our weights and measures sometimes. So I have two beverages, as I've mentioned to you. I have a cup. This is a mug. It's containing... <laughs> Why am I enthusiastically nodding? Because it's... 
Um, so, oh, like generally Amber? a hot beverage. I should be looking at myself with love. Um, doesn't have to. <laughs> generally. And here we have, of course, the uh, common water glass. I'm sure most of you have one of these in your home. If you don't, sometimes if you go to a restaurant, you'll see they put that down for you without any charge. Free. It's just a glass of water. So Free. I no thought charge. it would be best to demonstrate both a hot and cold liquid and both uh, different kinds of receptacles. Yeah, this so is for you, really Jace. Clarify the fine tune it, so to speak, such as. So I'm going to start first with, of course, my tea. Today it's tea. Now, one of the things I notice you guys are um, a little bit confused on is quantity. Now, a sip by its nature is a very small unit. So a sip would be... Watching carefully. That's it. It's, it's really that that's simple. It. So, do you want to see the side view? That's it. Valentine was trying it and crying and crying because he was taking seven, eight sips at one time, <laughs> which commonly a grouping of sips is often known as a gulp. So we don't want to go into gulp territory. Here I'm going to demonstrate for you in the water. This is a colder beverage in a different receptacle. Now here's the secret. There's no difference. A sip is a sip. Watch. I'll, do it I'll do it live. Watch. Did you notice the amount? Very small. small. Once again, from the side. <laughs> Tiny. Tiny amount. So there you have it. A more, a more fleshed out tutorial from me on sipping. I encourage you to <laughs> keep stupid. adding in. And then maybe next month we'll come up with a different topic to explore. Thank you all for joining me. Buenas tardes. Have a great afternoon. So if you're not a member, that's the kind of stupid things we do in the Discord. That's uh, That was our sip. And there's many. Listen, they're all equally as funny. I mean, Valentine was doing one where he was spilling water all over himself and crying because he didn't know how to sip properly. And it's crazy. They're, they're funny. They're very funny. Um, so let me remind you, we have a challenge on right now to do a one minute or two minute commercial for where you live. It can be your neighborhood, your city, your state, your province, your country, whatever. You don't have to dox yourself, but just be, you know, funny is good, but it doesn't have to be funny. It could be serious. You can sell us on the place or you can warn us against ever coming to your city. Uh, whatever works for you. Um, we're going to extend that till the 30th of April. So if you're in the discord, check out the superstars thread to look for that. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day, um, cause I don't want to get into the, uh, retro now. Uh, we'll save that for maybe Saturday. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me on a happy hump day stream. It's been a long time since we did a hump day. And like I said, like I said, I'm going to try and do every second day plus Saturdays right now. Please have patience with me. My life and my schedule is kind of all over the place. Um, but you guys make it uh, fun. And and I miss you if I if I don't come live once in a while. So uh, we'll do something in the Discord later on. And until I see you on Friday and Saturday, you know the routine. Just be kind. And hasta luego. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs>